Hey, welcome to Noise Pollution. Uh, I hope everyone's having a nice day. My name's Bobby Vibes. Hi. I'm a professional vibrator and savant, as is my want. Um, yeah. Tempting for at least decent vibe levels. It's five to five on the 17th of July. Ooh. I'm listening to um, the song Out of Time by Blur. Just been um, getting into Blur a little bit again. He's got... um, Damon Arban's got a new book out, isn't it? It's called uh, Blur, but it's just an extended series of synopsises. uh, Synopsi. Uh, Here's how I live most recently, the last 48 hours. That's crazy... 48 hours of my life. Um, let me see if I can... Last 48 hours of how I live most recently. Uh, here we go. So left the studio, went to um, my work, place of work, which... Oh, here he is. Let me get rid of that. I've just got to commence that. Just to, um, Here we go. Here's a recent event for you. Oh, my goodness. Cycling home, and there's a fire, fire engine. Oh, I did a beat. Let's have a listen. To that. Oh, I did a little jam with Greg. I'm teaching Greg how to play guitar, though he doesn't like me to say that. He's. Uh, I'm helping him learn. We did a little country song. Thank you, Greg. And there was the um, loads of um, guys on this beer truck, so they're peddling it themselves. Yeah, sorry. They're peddling it themselves. Um, it's beer fueled. Uh, beer fuel, it's banter, pure bants on the road there with the bikes and everything. Um, here's uh, work, my place of work, the Bongos Bingo. Bongos Bingo, yay! And uh, playing with the cameras and stuff, it's just everything was lovely. Got home, we did some stretches with the wonderful and effervescent Hannah and Connie. There's outside there. Uh, pumps, I'll spare you the audio. Um, just pumping loads. Pumping it. What have we got here? Piaumph. Um, anyway, Piaumph. Let me get rid of that. Um, and doing lots of uh, cold showers and keeping cool, literally. And then, um, what was this the next day? I didn't film anything at the actual show. My friend Tommy Calderbanks, who has been. Um, cheers, honey. Uh, can't pause it mid cheers. Let's find a good thing, place to stop and describe. The bingo, there we go. Um, Tommy Calderbanks and his partner Ange came along. Uh, big fan of Tommy and his work, and his partner's great. So um, they came along, so I ended up just um, not really being on my computer, uh, not being on my phone, just chatting. So I didn't actually film anything. So this is the next morning, me and Hannah having some... Uh, so glad she's home. Um, it's lovely that... Um, here is uh, Martin Navratilova describing the... Um, have I highlighted it here, how special the water in Czech Republic is. Um, So I might do some exploring into that. Maybe there's something to do with the quality of the water and the quality of the sporter, sporters person. So speaking of water, I'm going to crack open a fresh ched here. Listen to this. Oh, there's me. Oh, extra fizzy. I haven't won the the hydrogen-powered Formula One. That's what they'll do, isn't it? Um, They'll drink the water from the cars at the end. Hopefully, that's nice. That'll be nice. Anyway, um, yeah, apparently the water's dead good there. More stretches. So when am I... D- yeah, we're doing... This is the day after. I'm just stretching loads. I feel like my my body's really enjoying this little pumping routine. Oh, that's, oh I've gone the wrong way there. I've gone off the screen. I've pumped myself off screen there. Um, and then into a call. I was enjoying these faces that I was making. Let me see if I can pull up a face for you. Oh, there's a face. There's a face. Look a bit like a uh, like Wolverine or something. The guy from Flock of Seagulls. Medding almost constantly now. And then Hanny was had a little nap post med. Just relaxing. It's really about. Um, I'm uh, I'm understanding more and more the um, how you can zonk yourself out. Um, you know, you've got to mainly, I was just think, I was thinking I developed this thing. It's like noise pollution is a bit of a brain gym where I'm keeping my brain nice and, um, supple 
just putting all my bits together and all the gubbins and everything and just so you know I'm just enjoying that aspect of it at the moment just and then we had Hannah went to the shop and got some mad chips I had a few it was a really bonkers uh, decision in their hands but we got some falafel wraps and then went to our mate Dozzy's uh, 60th birthday happy birthday Dozzy Happy birthday, Daz. Happy birthday, Dazzy. Really nice place down there. Really dreamy. Really dreamy. Great de- de- great disc jockeying there from Dazzy. The- just nothing but... Nothing but lovely warmth from the whole gang. Oh, I'll just show. Oh, there's the weather in the background there. Yeah, the weather. It was nice. It was like in the sort of partially outdoor zone. Um, to avoid home. Avoid home. I was a bit squiffy. I hadn't had any booze, but I, I'd had um, a, tr- a psilocybin chocolate. And the and the thing. So there's me. Vo- it's midday. You know. And I had a big sleep. I needed to recover. Um, let's see what the air quality. I was going to just show you quickly the air quality in Liverpool at the moment. It's pretty good. We'll see the good. Um, Air quality in Liverpool, very good at the moment. Nine, so that's probably the un- first time I've seen it under ten, so it's, maybe I was just breathing extra and I need, need a bit of extra sleep kind of thing. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, I've got a thing lined up. I've, I managed to get back on track a little bit, a big sleep, um, got back five, five days med, did a pump. I didn't do any stretches, um, unfortunately. I uh, did another face. Let's have a look at this face. The cold face. Blue, blue steel. Because I'm cold. Come on. Yeah. What a face. Uh, facial. Cheers, cheers, honey. Oh, she didn't have a cup of tea. She, d- she didn't want another coffee or a caffeinated beverage, so I ended up going on a little walk. And I had a break. She was on three hours of Zoom calls while I was pretty much sleeping, and then we had a little uh, mooch Come with the pooch. Little mooch with the pooch. Hello, mate. Can he uh, goading a pug? Pugu pagoda. Thanks for watching, Noise Pollution, by the way. Um, really appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, thanks so much. Brilliant. Uh, that worked quite quite well. Um, if you want to come outside, I was thinking about doing um, street interviews so we can. Uh, have maybe have a person down there interviewing and I can communicate and you know we could have a little street interview so if you want to come and um, contribute participate in an episode of Noise Pollution in the future as I say I'm doing these every 48 hours as a little um, you know workout working things out in the brain gym you know uh, why not give you the gist just kind of keep it fun keep it funny if it's what was that thing uh, if it's good it's fun if it's bad it's funny my bike, putting me in. Oh yeah, I broke my pedal, sorry about the chewing. I'm just going to show you this thing about this, um, I read, he's an Austrian psychoanalyst. Um, look at that lovely sunshine. I went to the Apple shop to buy a, um, a thing for my iMac, just to try and see if I could speed up the NDI thing from the communicate, you know, from the Ethernet side of things. So that's where I'm up to. Uh, let me show you a little bit of this Viktor Frankl. The, as I say, the weather's, the air's really nice at the moment in Liverpool. What else have I got up here? The, oh, let me see if I can traverse Perkins this. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to see um, if Bard can just give me a vibey blurb on uh, Viktor Frankl just to see what, uh, see what Bard can come up with. Can you give me a vibey blurb? Sure, here's a vibey blurb on Viktor Frankl. Viktor Frankl was a man who found meaning in the Holocaust. Viktor Frankl was a man who found meaning in the darkest... Let's see if I can get it back in frame. Yeah, darkest... Let's see if I can pull it up. Oh, kind of cropped it. Anyway, yeah, so he was, um, he was, in, he was a psychoanalyst who was in, ended up going to um, Auschwitz and a few th- uh, survived them, but basically found, he developed a um, psychotherapy called Logotherapy. And I read his book, Man's Search for Meaning, a, a while back, and I keep... Uh, wanting to reread it and I was uh, so I ended up watching this um, 
this thing on him. I'll leave you with it. It's a bit of yeah, bit of a philosophical one, bit of a thing, you know, talking about how to improve your life a little bit. And he was um, very, very fascinating and beautiful human. You excuse me, but uh, I know I am speaking a marvelous accent without the slightest English. Now, self-deprecation there on the on the ones. I'm not sure where this talk was, but I've watched it a couple of times now, and I watched it with Greg before we had a little jam, and it was just really quite lovely. So I'll just leave you with this. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for checking this out, and uh, hopefully I'll see you. In, well, definitely, definitely going to see you in 48 hours. Um, give me like and subscribe, and uh, say uh, if you know if um, if anyone else has read Viktor Frankl's book uh, and how it sort of um, it resonated with them. Be interested to hear what you th what you think. You know, you won't believe it, gray, uh, gray hair of my age, I started taking flying lessons recently. Do you know what my flying instructor told me? If you are starting here, wish to get here, say east, heading for this, and you have a crosswind, you will drift and you will land here, so you have to do what we pilots call a crabbing. Crabbing. C-R-A-B, crabbing. You have to head for north of this uh, air, airfield and you have to fly that way, you see, as if you headed in this direction. If you are heading here above this airfield, then you will actually land here. But if you so you have to sort of push above the line that you think. You have to give a little bit more oomph into the line you think is going to get you to where you're going to go. Because if you don't, if you just kind of follow the line, the coordinates, you end up drifting off. It's kind of interesting way to look at kind of life. And Perhaps for here you are landing here. This holds also for man, I would say. If we, if we take man as he really is, we make him worse. But if we overestimate him. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Check out the video. It's called the Viktor Frankl uh, F-R-A-N-K-L on why idealists are real realists. So I'm going to try and be an idealist and a real realist. Uh, let's see what my captioning computer says about that. Um, I'm going to be an idealist and a real realist, and I'll catch you in 48 hours. Love you. Bye.